All right, now the next part I really want to remove, well, I want to remove this bracket, but this bracket is actually bolted in from, you can actually see the thread of bolts coming up, so the bolts that hold that bracket in, or the screws that hold this bracket in, are only accessible after you remove the saddle. And I can't remove the saddle until I get that gear out on the other side, which is on the other end of this shaft right here. And my understanding was that once I removed this shaft I just took out, that would give me access to the screw to remove this gear. But what's weird is there's like a hole right here. It's also kind of like chewed out. The threaded hole. So I don't know if there's a set screw down inside there. That I can't quite see. Boy, if there is, that's in a really bad spot to get at. Well, whether or not there was a screw in there and its head sat down inside this hole right here and that it's already been removed or fell out. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a drift right on here and try and tap and see if that doesn't move. Yeah, so there must have been a screw in there originally that was removed because I just tapped on it and it's moving. So, I should be able to pop that out now. All right, so that was a piece of cake. As soon as I popped that out, now this bevel gear can be moved out of the way. And now, because I already took off this part that screws on here, this bevel gear will come off. I can get my fingers in there and grab it. Let's see if I can't reach around from the back here. There we go. So that's this bevel gear here. That was held in by one of these screw deals here, okay. And now I got that other bevel gear off. That's this one here. All right, and now because that other bevel gear dropped down, I should be able to raise this up and slide the saddle right off. Oops, silly me, I forgot the uh, Saddle can't slide off. It still can't slide off because This moves right here with the saddle and it's going to hit here. So I've got to get this bracket off first Which now that I just removed that Gear now I can see the uh, four screws right there that hold that on So I'll get those out and once those four screws are out, this big bracket assembly right here falls out, which I've got a buyer for that. And that looks like it's in good shape, so I'll be happy. Ooh. Now with the bracket off, now I believe there's nothing to stop this saddle from being able to slide right off. There we go. Well, I didn't have any requests for it, but I decided I better grab it just in case. This is the little lock lever for the saddle. And to take this off, because it unscrews from here, you have to take this tiny screw out from the end, which I already did. That allows this to slide out. And then you can just unscrew this. Just like that. All right, not much left on this knee to salvage. Um, there's this gear down here, uh, which it looks like I gotta take this big nut off to get that out. Um, I'm not even gonna bother taking that out. I'm not gonna bother taking out this big threaded rod assembly. I've got no one interested right now in that. It's not another thing I really feel like, uh, I don't feel like going through all the trouble of having that, uh, to get that thing out only to have it hanging around with all the other junk I've got. So, I'm gonna pass on that. Um, this gear on the end here, 
that looks like that might end up being more trouble than it's worth also because I think what I got to do there is I think I got to take this nut off and then the dial off and then this shaft must go through that's probably what that opening is on the other side part of the reason why that's cut out the way it is where my fingers going in right here as you can see it right here that looks like it's a straight shot right across so it would make sense you take take that off drive it through there either that or there's a set screw buried in here maybe I don't know but again I'm, I'm just not that interested I got a feeling that's actually a place to put oil here's another oil one right there you can see it's got a little galley it goes right down that little tube right there it goes down into that bearing support for that shaft that I took out so that's not really interesting to me I do want to get this rod out hopefully without too much damage and I was having such a hard time getting that rod out before and lo and behold once I got this apart I discovered that there was a little key in there and the key was wedged in there and I just knocked the key out from the back and this came right out but I also see you can see that that looks like that's actually broken there's a piece broken right there so have to make a potential buyer aware of that they'll have to make their own decision if they want to actually bother with this one or reuse another one or fabricate their own out of maybe a bolt seems like that would be an easy enough piece to make all right so here's the end of the locking handle the knee locking handle that I drove out before and this is where I was before I knew how to get this out I was being a little too rough on the end of this you can actually see I've actually peened this in a little bit so much so that now this doesn't even fit you know, it's quite a bit of a uh, mess I made there so and I also think I enlarged this end right here so I think the OD right here is actually bigger than the OD here because I think when I was getting this out and I finally got to the bushing I had a real hard time getting this very end out and I could see why so what I want to do is I want to clean this up I think if I use a large drill bit I can actually cut that bad area out there at the end straighten that out and then just do a little bit of a work with my grinder on the outside edge here and give it a little bit of a chamfer that way when the person goes to install this on their mill they'll have a lot less trouble hey I think this might be hardened it's not cleaning up very well at all with the drill I think I'm gonna have to use a uh, a small stone attachment well I just spent the past 15 minutes down in the basement touching this up on the uh, on the grinder I put a chamfered edge on there and I uh, got rid of the part that was kind of mushroomed out and then I also uh, ran a tap down into there so that I could screw this back in threads might still need a little bit of work but it does screw in but I think the biggest problem is that this is I don't remember how I don't know how this was supposed to be on the back but I think there's a piece that snapped off now so that might not even work correctly camera battery's dying so